Hello folks, this is Psychic Underlord from PsychicUnderlord.com, which is our Etsy page, and also PsychicUnderlord.net, which is our YouTube page, where we post lots of occult material for our wonderful ritual community, as well as our YouTube subscribers and people throughout the world who are interested in the knowledge of the global ascension, the beauty of how things have changed and how they will continue to change forever and ever. So we thank you so much for viewing this video today. Uh, is very important. We're going to go back a little bit and kind of elaborate, flesh out some things for those who are interested in knowing about clones and the concept of what clones really are versus what we want them to be. We want them to be the sci-fi rendition. You know, we see the AI, we see the Cybertronic uh, materials, we see all of the different scientific things that they're coming up with, but we can't be so sure about what those things are until we see more and more about it. But when we see more and more about it, we just see that it's nothing but a tin can that's hooked up to the internet. So when it comes to clones, the concept is much more sinister, much more nefarious, and much more frightening. We've seen the journey and the walk of the dead. We've seen these zombie films come out with millions and millions of people possessed by these zombie energies and let's let's just take it from the beginning and talk about the internet itself since these things that they're calling clones are supposedly synthetic but they're hooked into the consciousness of the internet which there are a lot of a lot of glitches a lot of errors a lot of stupidity a lot of craziness on the internet so those clones will probably really be willing to go out with you and hang out for a drink or two you know, if you were to meet them in real life. Um, let's talk about numbers. You know, they say that this is a material universe and it's built up of nothing but numbers. You know, I'm sure that I don't want to insult your intelligence and think that you guys have come to this page and watched this video and you have no knowledge at all, which is would be absurd. I don't even have pictures for you to look at. Without numeric values, there could be no formula. Everything that is constructed and engineered and utilized has numbers at its foundation, even things that are handmade. You have to know how big a something is so that you'll know if it can fit through a door or not. And this is and that's connected to commerce. If you don't know how to measure something to make it fit through a door, how are people going to buy it and give you money so that they can be able to use something in their home? So let's just let's just say that once you put the numbers out there on the internet, everything is out there. The numbers, the letters that we use, how many words we use, how many words are allowed. You know, if what if Twitter instead of 140 characters said everyone uses 300 characters max, that would dramatically change the amount of inflow coming through that website. But what do they have to do? They have to pay for it. So they have to find a way to monetize it, even though they give it to you for free. So there are some numeric values that are behind this thing on the internet that are, are frightening to say the least. Social media has created clones it is, as an algorithmic concept to solve a math problem within the algorithm because they do need a certain amount of people to be able to have enough content and data to market and merchandise it and have people buy it so they actually get paid for what they do. So clones are in essence the most profitable component 
of social media and of the internet. Those are people that if I show you a viral thing, you might just go for it. If I show you a hairstyle, you might just wear it now. If I show you something, a new dance trend, you might just do it now. And you may film it and you may redo it again and again and again and again. Clones are solving the math problem of the internet, of why they can offer free services that people don't even pay for. So that's a problem within the algorithm is how many. We've solved that. We've figured it out because the numbers are everywhere. Clones are created for organic material and humanity uses people for cloning activities. So the cloning is oriented around marketing real things, marketing you if you're a celebrity, putting you before the clone audience and all of them say, yeah, at the same time. And if they didn't say it at the same time, they would look at each other and say, what's wrong with you? You're not saying it right. You're not wearing a shirt right. You've all got to have the jersey. You've got to have the right tennis shoes. This is mass marketing, simplistic. But what do you call it when you have 5 million people wearing the same pair of shoes or buying the same pair of shoes in one year? What do you call that? I don't know if that's successful in terms of business numbers in 2024, but I know one thing. If you multiply that by the retail value, that's a lot of money. So organic things, real things, buying homes, living certain types of lifestyles, buying cars, having audiences, filling up shopping malls and plazas. I have to have material that the clones will be able to latch on to and resonate with. And once I achieve that, I'm able to assure a proper amount of footfall, a proper amount of exposure of my business on the internet or in physical reality so that I have enough going on that I can leverage that and to be able to make more. These are cloning activities because they involve a life cycle. They involve parents, they involve children, they involve schools themselves that will put the same type of shirt from the same company on 500 children. How do I assure that? I've gotta have a strategy to be able to market something to the clones. They can't have something that they might not like because then there may be a problem. So this is why everyone's looking at that, the numbers around certain things because that number is gonna dictate what is the likelihood of us being able to extract money from clones that is the biggest business in the world. If you have the right hair color, if you have the right eye color, if you have the right makeup or the, the right way that you dress, I can take and put you before the clones and be able to influence them. This is what I'm talking about. The clone reality that we deny, we're looking for something and saying, oh, this thing is trying to replace us. Well, guess what? It is already killing us. The cloning is killing people all over the world. 
but they can't see it. But if you have the same habits as they do, if you walk the same path as they do, if you have the same mentality as they do, you may just be one of the ones we're going to kill. The clones. You put the clones in the cars. You send them all around town. You teach them how to talk, how to walk, how to be citizens, how to obey, how not to obey, what's right and what's wrong. You make it personal. You make it a personal agenda so that people don't go up against the agenda. We move and function by our numeric values within the system. If you have a numeric value that is over a million dollars in, let's say, in America or somewhere around the world, there are entities and organizations that go about seeking information about you. Why is it that people who can generate high numeric values also can generate the possibility of being killed? How is that? Because these are supposed to be the safest ones. But then every time you turn around, it's so shaky that these people are disappearing. These people are being taken. These people are being killed. It's about their value to the clone community. If they have no value, they can easily be killed. So your numeric value leads you to a certain type of life. Nine times out of 10, if you're not initiated. If you're initiated, your life is weird because you might have money, but then you may not spend it. And then you may have money and then end up spending it, but don't want to spend it. So you're doing all kinds of things that are counterintuitive to the system. They can't really pinpoint the the value of, of what you're actually achieving um, because it all kind of peters out into the system and it floats out. And depending on how you're assigned, what is your assignment? Your assignment may to be a lawyer. It may be to go and have children and be a housewife. It may be to work on a farm and maybe to leave the country. Who knows what you're being assigned to do spiritually? But your numeric values dictate what you're going to be able to do within the system. You can become a clone by following the masses. You can. If you were really desperate to really, really fit in and really, really align yourself for needs of of being lonely and wanting to be a part of them. First step is you're probably going to be very rejected because people are very suspect of people who are needy and who want to belong. So by you wanting to belong in the clone reality, it becomes suspicious because why should we accept you? So you continue to follow the masses and to be able to fit into the clone reality, they'll, they'll eventually find a place for you, but it'll be a low place. It'll be a place where they crunch you down and they have to remanufacture your numbers because the numbers inside of you are so high that they have to kill those numbers and replace them with different values, different types of um, aspects that you can freely adorn as a part of the clone community. The algorithm gets bigger and more abundant, you know, and is its idea is to take out all opposition. So there's no such thing as a, it's the algorithm's the rhythm saying, oh, well, there's a, only a limit on how many people can go to this concert or how many people we can promote to about this on social media. You have people that are that are promoting on social media because they have a system that's paying them and the thing that they're promoting is not even paying them. It's the system itself is paying them to promote what is is algorithmically rich to the environment, 
to produce more clones, to brainwash, to put into the mindset of being a part of those initiatives and the system rewards them for it. They don't even need to be formally contracted or somebody pick up the phone and says, I want you to do this job for me. They sit at home, do the job themselves and sit back and wait to get paid for it. That's a clone. So look at how many eyes you have on you as a private individual when the concept of cloning has expanded to include much of the material realm because it is monkey see, monkey do, and people are operating in this realm. Now you don't ha- now you don't have to be afraid. Now you can can be wise and understand you're watching this video. I mean I don't have anything special to show you. But I already know there will be clones that watch this and understand and, and just well as twin flame videos as well that I gave. So violence is also a mechanical algorithm that creates clones. When you traumatize people and put them into the same mindset, you can create models of what is acceptable clone violence and violence models. So people that are family, that are friends, that are close to these people that are absorbed into violence or killed, when they promote them, they interview them, they show how they are operating, what is the first thing people say about them? They say, did you see what they are wearing? Did you see how their hair was? Did you see what they said? Let me show you the video again. So they're continuously cloning and producing this material to satisfy an algorithmically rich environment for extraction, monetary extraction, they'll take the concept of what they saw of the clones in those videos and then turn around and they will dress the same way. They will operate the same way because it produces safety for them. It produces familiarity and allegiance to the system Wisdom is a very wise thing for them to model these uh, violence models. And uh, it's not counterintuitive in the cloning environment because that is very real. Everything is quantified on the internet and distilled. Everything. There was a time when they had people that were dominating the internet. Now there's so many people dominating the internet that they have to really keep up. The platforms are growing. The platforms are increasing. The speed of of content creation is increasing. There's so many different things that engage people more and more. And you have to have a certain amount. If you don't have, let's say you have less than 100 videos, you know, once upon a time, if you have 100 videos on your page, that would be considered a lot. Now you have people that have thousands. And soon they'll have people and entities with millions of videos in their their dominion, whether it be through their own private servers or through repeating websites, people that copy videos and give reaction videos. I'm reacting to what they showed. And then you watch me react and watch the other. So it is definitely educating a clone environment. Cloning is the ideal experience of social media. It's consistent. It provides something that people tend to enjoy along the lines as far as content and what it's about. Um, It is something that is evergreen that people can go back and uh, you don't see too much variety year after year. But over time, you see a lot of variety. If you go back 10 years, you go back 20 years, you know, in the internet, we're starting to get to that point, like a 20 year. Uh, Well, even though it's been way more than that, I'm talking about social media and when it really, really hit. And when people started making fortunes, I remember Huffington Post and all these type of entities that have sold out into this 
massive, massive administrative entity of social media. Facebook is a cloning facility and it sells algorithmic formats. So the format of a page is what they're selling through the profile and the identification of characteristics of male 18 to 50 years old living in New York State with speaks Spanish or whatever the characteristics are. They sell, you know, through Facebook advertising. This is how they have their own internal advertising entity. But what you don't realize is that it's huge. And that that entity, that Facebook advertising entity, feeds millions and millions of other outside websites that lead people to a new pair of shoes, that lead people to local restaurants or movies that they want them to watch. So it is producing clones so that it can build the numbers. And when it discovers, see, the numbers are already sitting there. They just need something to hit it in a right way that'll produce the numbers as evidence of the direction to go in. And that's an, a format of an algorithm. So then they, when they study that all the people who went to get shoes also are logging into the a certain website, that becomes an algorithmic format. So there's more study into this investigation, into this matter. We use Facebook to attract others to Facebook. You know, that's a very simple thing, but we don't realize how huge it is if you were to count how many friends that you had in the past, how many people that you shared their their phone number or their email with Facebook, they joined, and then all the other people joined behind them. But since you've been on Facebook so long, you may not remember that. But that was a significant crossover when people were able to provide the data of others through their personal networks to these social medias and to allow them to explode like this. All social media is self-facing and collated. It's going to show you what you want to see. So if there is an element in you that is very absorbent, that's seeking, that's looking for things as far as your identity, things that you can wear, things you can walk around with, the, one of the essences of cloning is fashion. What you wear, notice how consistent and homogenized fashion has become. People don't want to stick out. It used to be a type of thing where people were feeling that I want to be different. Now people want to be the same because to be the same is to be accepted. So faces and words, they are math equations that are traced. If you have a certain type of face or you say certain type of words, that's a number. If we were to look into all the people, just did a simple search on the word they, B-A-E, on social media, do you know that every sentence where people use that word would come up? You think there's not somebody out there that's keeping track of that? With all these numbers out there, it's worth investigating, and it's worth investigating to see how many of those people who use the word bay in social media use the next trendy word that comes out. So now we can engineer words and engineer concepts that people can carry through the social media ecosystem so the engagement is higher, the control is higher. So you can work to manage cloning, uh, clone manufacturing, clone uh, identification through my shop. There are things that through an alter ego, through the power of the rituals that we provide through the divining ritual that will allow you to come in contact 
with those individuals who are clones and to be able to truly benefit from them. There are not a whole lot of uh, deep things that clones are into because it, clones don't like really deep stuff. They're mostly into sexual interactions and monetary interactions. And if you can gain money from them or gain sexual interactions through them, then 90% of all the other stuff is going to be accessible because then it's, you know, there, there are a set of people out there who say, you know, I don't want to be left behind and I don't want to be alone. And I do feel alone on this journey. If you, it's nothing wrong with people pursuing what they feel would level them out, would, be able to enrich their life and make everything make sense. I can't say that, oh, these ones are good, these ones are bad. We all are a part of the same environment. So I have the rituals, the clone ATM formula, um, clone guardianship. So that's being a leader of groups. We see these people with groups of 10, 12 friends. Like, how does that happen? It's because they all have something in common. And then the rituals will bring it out of you so that it allows you to connect specifically for social and uh, economic interaction. So we thank you so much for viewing this video on cloning. And um, I'll be back more with this information, but hopefully this, this makes a little more sense to you. Have a wonderful night.